All right, guys, quick video today. Let me show you what I'm working on here. As you guys might be aware, we sold a bunch of these, uh, what are these, rivers, right? So these are EcoFlow rivers, uh, and we sold a bunch of them, and we made a custom 6S battery pack to charge this from the solar plug-in here, right? And so because of that, a lot of you guys have been asking, what about the Blue Eddy EV3? uh ev3a i think that's the one i think there's several versions of this or whatever but there are you guys have been asking what about the battery will it work on this and the answer is yes the 6s pack the custom pack that we made for the river will work here uh but the cables you'd have to adapt the cables right uh and the other thing is that this has a slightly higher voltage 12 to 28 volt uh, DC input right here, right? And so because the, the voltage is up to 28, you can use a 7S 24 volt battery pack. And we, because that's the standards, 7S uh, is standard 24 volt, right? And so because of that, you can use it here. It is one that has eight uh, 2170s, but we also make it in get an 18650s. And also we even offer it with the uh, fully populated and stuff on the uh, ones over there that are uh, Boston, right? And so as a result of that, you can use a regular 7S, that's seven cells in series, 24 volt battery pack to charge this via the, uh, the solar charge control, right? And so the only thing is that you'll need this special cable. I will link it down on the bottoms where you can get one. And then I will link all the batteries that you can use it. Look at this here. It's doing uh, about 200 amps, uh, 200 watts input and charging this guy right here, right? But because this is kind of a standard 24 volt application here, which it means that you can also use the 7S uh, Boston swing modules that we are making here. I am still doing some tests on these ones. I'm trying to push them to their limit. These are power packs, but that because they can push a lot of power th doesn't mean that you can just use it to power this this is one kilowatt hour right and so if you also want a big battery like that this is an option but also the 8s lithium iron phosphate and the reason why that's an 8s instead of a 7s is because this is a different chemistry it's a lot safer this one's way more long lasting and but it has a slightly lower voltage so that's why it's 8s but this is a standard 12 uh 24 volt pack that is compatible with this you all you have to do is adapt the cables i will include links on cables uh in the description of this video so that you can use that this is a 1200 watt hour wow 1.2 kilowatt hour uh battery that you can use to charge this at about a rate of 200 watts right so it's kind of slow but you could charge it in there you could uh use this in here and you more than well what is it it's 268 and this is 1200 so you do the math it's like three four times the capacity with this single battery in here so you could have uh, this little unit last a very long time by just connecting this in here uh obviously if you remove this uh if you plug in something in here it goes up to 600 watts but if you're trying to replenish it from this external battery at 200 watts, then eventually it's gonna run out, right? If you're doing above 200 watts, uh, you can't run it continuous because the little battery inside will run out and then you'll have to stop and then let it charge and then redo it again. But if uh, you have loads that are continuous for less than 200 watts, you can run this little unit continuous because you can just put that in there and uh, feed it 200 watts in through here and then take it out of the uh, AC port, right? So that's what we got going on here for all of you guys that have been asking about the Blue Eddy EV3A. You can use any standard 24 volt packs that are found on our website. The only thing you'll have to do is figure out how to connect the cable, how to you know adapt the cable because there's different connectors. This is kind of a special connector uh, that is not found easily, but I found this a long time ago for some other device that we have and we have some in stock we will put them in stock and i also give you a links to the amazon so where you can find this and then you can convert it to an xt60 an xt90 all the popular uh connectors that we use for all the batteries not just us and you know industry standard kind of stuff 
So thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.